Hi, and welcome to, to Rousey Audio. I promised you a video about this, the Serban Vega R10, that I saved from a certain death, or parting out and sourcing out. I promised you a video because there is some confusions out there about this model and other Serban Vega models. So it is a good time right now to clear up and get things and facts in order. So why did the seller believe that these were not original? Well, I put together a video for you. So coming up, you will see some pictures, a little video clip from me going up there on the road and um, some I'll narrate some pictures and talk about them when you see the pictures and then at the end of this video you will come back to me in here for a closing session um, with the final words so why did the seller believe these were not original well he had some people that told him that they were not original this goes to show that you need to know what you have and you can't always listen to people um, what they tell you because unless you have the facts and in this business when it comes to vintage audio if you want to know something about vintage audio and certain models you need to have the facts especially when it comes to speakers you need the facts and we're gonna base this video on facts so here we go stay tuned and here we see the listing that the seller had on Craigslist where he talks about that the model might not be original. He had taken several pictures of the cabinets with and without the grills. He's taken out the drivers showing the back sides. So a very thorough listing he had done. He had done a good job on the listing. Sadly he had been told that these were not original and he mentioned that in the listing and he lowered the price fairly a lot and many times so um, here you see the, the front of the speakers and now we go to a video that I made on my way up there okay guys I'm on the road to St. Louis Missouri to pick up some speakers that I'm saving that was posted on Craigslist uh, I'm about an hour away from uh, St. Louis right now and um, since I get there, I'll uh, maybe shoot a video or at least take some pictures that I can include into this video. Um, it's a uh, very, very special speakers, and uh, it's like what I touched about in a previous video. Uh, you know what you're selling and know what you're buying. And this is a classical uh, thing that happens way too often not only with this brand of speakers which is Servan Vega but the seller um, believes that the speakers are not original uh, while they are ori original uh, and he's dumping the price and of course if someone, someone buys them uh, because it's a good deal and of course if someone buys them and believes they are not original and starts messing with them well then they're not original anymore and they have destroyed a pair of very rare speakers and um, so these uh, I list these up there as very rare you don't see these models coming up for uh, sale often so um, yeah and um, I'll get back to you later have a nice time and here they are in my uh, car on the way back home and they are safe and sound and been saved from total destruction and a certain death. Um, the speakers are not in mean condition by any means but I'm okay with that. I can fix whatever is wrong. And I'm going to show you a brochure now from 1976-77 where you see the first speaker from the left is the R10 with the original drivers as shown in the listing on the speakers that I got. So he had an original speaker. There was, there's no doubt about it. They are 100% original. Uh, Hepner woofer and Hepner tweeters uh, was used in this first model of R10. 
I'm now going to show you the second model of R10 that came out in 1979, and here they are. The um, 79 model was changed a little bit, different tweeter, different woofer. This is a Seren Vega woofer, uh, L101-2. And when people look them up online, they see these. And sometimes these has been repaired, and since the L101-2 also came with red foam, it can be a little bit confusing because when people repair these, they get red foam. So you get three models on the market that people look at. So some confusion can be made. Um, this is the second model in 79 and it lasted until the mid 80s. And now over to another video. As you can see, and as we have talked about in the uh, video earlier, um, they look a little bit different than the other model that I showed you. And sometimes, like I showed you, I told you about a third model where you have the um, dust cap with the Seren Vega logo on it and um, red foam. And that happens when um, people take the other model and they refoam them or recone them. And, and that they want they think they want red foam on them because the other woofer also came with red foam so when you call or contact a speaker repair shop uh, and you say hey I have this model I need a repair kit or either it's a recon kit or foam they will send you a red one or pink one or whatever um, and then they put that in here so you you, you can sometimes see three different R10s on in the internet this like I said was the first model this one was from 1977 up to about 79 and in 79 they changed these models to uh, using the other woofer this is a Hepner woofer um, and in the other and a Hepner tweeter in the other one you have the Hepner tweeter, um, a different one, uh, the, the tweeter looks different, um, has a red dot in the middle, has like a foam thing around it, has like an edge to it, and the woofer in this one is a pure Hepner one, um, and in the other woofer uh, model from the R10, you will see they're using the L101-2 which is a Seren Vega woofer. Uh, why they changed that in 79, I don't know, but as you saw in the brochure from 1976, which came out in late in the year, uh, so, so you can probably say 76, 77 on these. The, the, the first models had this woofer. So this is where the seller um, messed up. Um, I'm not blaming the seller for, at all, because it's not easy because when you go online and you google R10 uh, you will get pictures of of the other models mostly and he had he told me that he had friends and people calling him and telling him that hey what you have is not original <clears throat> that is a problem because if you're listening to people that let's say you don't know them they call you they, they see your ad and they, they tell you that hey what you have is not original uh, and you start to doubt yourself and you start to look online and you do some Google searches and you you find pictures of the other models and then you start to go like yeah heck yeah I don't have the original but this is the first model the very first model that was only on the market for a couple of years the other one was on the market way longer According to the, the this lists that I have from directly from Sir and Vega, uh, these were discontinued in the mid '80s when the D series came out. So that is in in the order of range and and, and stuff of being on the market too long. If, if you ask me, when you have a product that's on the market for almost eight nine years. And you, and especially when you do changes to it, uh, maybe they did the changes because in 1983, Sir Mega bought out Hepner. Um, but when you have a seller who is not very familiar with the history of a brand, 
And, and with Serenvega, they had so many models, so it, it's almost impossible to know unless you have literature, literature to back it up and you have specific specs and, and model or a layout of the models. Like, I'm lucky, I, I have the list that Serenvega had. And so I can go in and then take a look and see what driver was used in which model. Um, so he then had him on for on credits for two hundred dollars to start off with. He lowered it to one fifty and then one twenty five, and I saw the, I saw it when he changed it every time, and I was like, hmm, how low will he go? And I was just more or less just waiting to see how low he would go, and then all of a sudden. It, it, it came up $40 one day and I was like whoa $40 it's worth way more than that um, so I contacted the seller I called him and I said hey are they in working condition and all that stuff because it said so in the thing and he said well if you come up here and you buy them I'll buy them for you so I told him I wanted them um, like you saw earlier we, we drove up and um, I got him, he played them for me, they tested them, and they sound, sound he used a little Sony receiver um, playing FM radio with, he was holding an antenna like this, so the signal wasn't really good, so, but it sounded really good. I have not had time to plug them in yet, because I wanted to make this video to clarify the models. So, he told me then that he was going to part them out throw away the cabinets and, and sell the com components uh, if, if they didn't sell this time around. So I was lucky to get up there and get them for $40. Did I tell the seller that he had an original? No. It's not my job to educate sellers every time. If I see a good deal, I, I jump on it. It's not my job to babysit sellers and, and educate them on everything. Do they have some issues? Yes, this, this pair has some issues that I have to deal with. There is some flaking. I have, he had saved the little flaky things on the veneer and they, they need a, a good wash and maybe some Howard's or some restore finish or something like that. Um, and they need some attention to the back of the woofer because he had taken them out and a little piece of wood had fallen off. But, um, if you look at these speakers and you look in the, early in the video, you can see it. This is the MK, we can call it MK1 or Series 1. And then they changed it to 79. The thing was, this came out, let's say 76, 77, was changed in 79. So it was only on the market for two, two and a half years. While the other model that came after this one, that was, which is also an R10, but with a different tweeter and a different woofer, was on the market from 79 to about 86, 85, 86. So it was on the market way longer. And there's probably more of them, them out there than this one. So that's why this one is a little bit rare. Because this was the Model 1. The first one they made that came out as r -Tech. So that's about it, what I can tell you about it. Um, um, I'll do a testing on them. I will play, plug them up and play them and see how they work.